Hey everyone, it's Rich Dallas with Berkshire Hathaway, the Dallas Fincham team, and today is April 26, 2020, and it's the first episode of Q&A Sunday, where we're going to take your questions and answer them. Buyers, sellers, whatever topic we can think of, you tell us what you want us to talk about next. So make some comments and let us know what you're thinking. Email somebody on the team, give them a call, talk to them about what you want to hear on a future episode. Today's quick questions we're going to tackle today. Number one, can we still show homes? We are getting that question from buyers and sellers all the time right now. And currently with the shelter and home guidelines that are in place from the governor, agents in Pennsylvania are not allowed to show homes. So we are following that to a T. We are not getting buyers into homes. We are setting up Zoom calls. We are setting up FaceTime. We can Skype. We can do anything you can possibly imagine to get the buyer and the seller on the same screen from safely in their own homes to tour the property themselves. So that is the way we're doing showings right now. Currently, we have sold a number of houses like that. And I think that, you know, once people grasp the technology, it can be a lot more readily available to everyone. We have electronic signatures for all the paperwork that we do. So we can sell homes 100% virtually. It's just like buying a new construction home. You never physically walk through the door, but yet you look at it on paper and sometimes you get to see a drawing or a, you know, a concept of it, but you never really get to walk through the door. So it's no different than buying a new house. So that's question number one. Number two, how is my property value going to be affected coming out of this pandemic? Well, good news is when we went into this, inventory was super low already here in Pennsylvania, uh, specifically in Pittsburgh. And we have now seen the inventory shrink even more because people aren't putting their houses on the market. However, there are still a lot of buyers out there who need to buy a house or want to buy a house. So once the gates open back up and buyers are allowed to get inside homes, it is going to be bananas that's my that's my take that's what all the experts are saying the next few months are going to be crazy busy and the buyers are going to be out there so as a seller your prices are not going to be affected here in pittsburgh maybe on the coastal markets in california or manhattan maybe something like that might happen there but here in pittsburgh we are going to maintain a steady market just like we always do so i would not be concerned with the buying power uh, or the purchasing power or the prices being affected any time in the near future here in Pittsburgh. Again, I am not a financial planner. I am not a crystal ball owner. I'm just saying what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing based on the data and based on what I believe. So take that with a grain of salt. That's where I think we're going and I'm pretty confident about that. Number three, should I refinance now? Only a mortgage professional can answer that question. We, as real estate agents, get that question all the time. Sellers will call us, hey, I just bought my house last year, as you know, but the interest rate just went down to zero. Well, first of all, the interest rate didn't go down to zero. There's a whole lot of confusion about what went to zero and what the interest rate actually did. And when the interest rates dropped as low as they really did go into the twos, the demand for refinancings went through the roof. So the interest rate went back up. So there's a lot of factors that go into refinancing. So you really should reach out to a lender that you trust. If you don't have somebody that you trust, call us and we will put you in touch with a couple of really great people that can get you set up to find out if refinancing makes sense today or if there is an interest rate that which it does make sense at. So I hope you like this quick little Q&A Sunday. We'll see you next week. Talk to you soon. Take care.